Okay, so the answer to chess, ultimate. Putting it all together throughout the year of learning. Let's see how we get on. So simple maneuvers, just taking this bishop off the board. We could look to actually attack the queen, but let's just get some more pieces developed, I think. Let's get the knight out. Shall we make some space for the bishop? Potential castling, nice and simple, straightforward stuff. Let's attack the bishop, keeping this in our back pocket. And the queen can take the bishop. So very simplified. At this point now, just bring the knight here just to give them something to think about. And they've given us something to think about. <laughs> so let's bring the knight across or do we let the knight go? No. Let's let the pawn go. Greedy munching queen. Usually doesn't serve them well, does it? I'm going to bring the rook here. So the queen has to go to the side. We can take this pawn or we can chase the queen. Usually doesn't bode well for them, does it? Let's take the pawn. Maybe they're looking to trap our rook in. So we'll try and keep the tempo and attack their queen with the rook before they start doubling their rooks on our rook. And what is this? attacking the queen so we can take we'll probably look to double the rooks yeah so we can keep it like that and just castle and take at this point we need to look to redress the knight's coming in strong Coming in strong, but we can push the pawn, try and save itself a little bit. I think we bring this pawn in because the rook will be looking to take it at some point. But the knight's in, maybe looking to come and attack the pawn here, double up on the attack or something or the other. What else can we do? Let's get this rook into some action, give them something to think about. Attack, trying to target maybe this or this open file probably better but you know all right so let's attack the pawn and shall we attack the knight maybe not let's bring this knight into the game other side of the board now he's looking to attack our knight so i'm going to attack his knight with the support of our knight but we're not going to take the pawn because this back rank mate's going on. Okay, they've got a bit arty there. So they kind of, they kind of say, oh, I'll take the pawn. And then their rook comes down, mates us, our knight can't protect. So it looks like we're going to have to just do an attack on the knight and see if we can give a king a flight square. So they've moved. Does that give us something? Knight can put some pressure on. Knight can attack the rook here. I think we're going to hit this knight, but you know, we're sending it to somewhere that it's good. Yeah, because it's going to come and attack the pawn, isn't it? But we want to give our king some sort of flight square anyway. I don't want that hanging over my head. So they have come down, we do have a space now, we could move the king just to get it off of the back. Can attack their knight, but let's get this off the back first. I don't think there's any forks, is there? No. Maybe the rook comes down looking for a discovery and we can take it off the board as we speak. <laughs> 
just as we speak. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that does make me laugh. Let's <laughs> here. All right, so they're still playing home, wanting to get this pass. It's offered a draw, obviously I'm going to not accept, maybe let it marinate and they may just resign. He proposes a take back. No, it made me laugh, that was comedy hour for me. Okay, so we'll just give it a few more seconds and maybe they're going to resign. Or maybe not, and they're hoping we make some sort of egregious mistake too. Which can happen, so do we just, yeah they've left the game. <laughs> I'm going to bring the knight here. I've made my move. Right, it looks like they've left the game. That was a nice game. Okay, 510. 860 player. Let's see if they play like an 860 player. Okay, we're going for a basic opening, which are the four knights. And, uh, let's just bring our bishop through. So this very basic chess. Oh, they've gone for the reverse fried liver thing. Oh my God, can't believe that I've fallen right into that. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear me. What do you do? What do you do? Blast through the center, it takes... Yeah, okay, blast through the center. Pawn takes, jump around with the knight. Jump around with the knight, he's still got two pieces defending, so looks like we've totally messed it up against the 800. <laughs> the basic opening. We got caught short. What is this? He's still got the situation. <laughs> oh dear me. Oh, that's making me laugh. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna give it, give pieces up now. I can't believe that. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to get the bishop here to come here to defend the pawn, but it's um, I've had to sacrifice a piece just to do it. Now the king can't get castle, well it's not castling in the traditional sense of the word. And this pawn's probably falling. Okay, so we have nothing. We can take the pawn, but like I said, they're coming for this here. So we're going to be losing stuff left, right and center. <laughs> Tell you, don't look at people's ratings. Yeah. I was going for simple and stuff, and now I can't get castled. And I think I got too blase with the simplicity of the moves, not realizing that, oh, I need to be careful of this and that and the other. It's quite easy to get put into those situations when you're looking at somebody's rating. Especially when you're playing over the board, you think, oh, crikey, um, this should be okay. They're not going to know any advanced moves. But we just squeeze here. He's got no white square bishop at the minutes in the corner. Well, they're very on the ball with their tactics. We're positional players, so this is a, a game of positional play against tactical play. because they know about the reversed fried liver type tactic and now they're attacking the king tactic type thing but not feeling that the pieces are working together as best possible they're just seeing these quick and dirty tactics type things which is good for us so I'm just going to see what the knight wants to do it's also making space for the king if he can do a little bit of a dance I'm going to see what the knight wants to do here So it looks a bit higgledy piggledy, but we do have our pieces kind of developed in a strange way. I believe we're taking this. 
to forget themselves, the stealth bishop can take the queen. Oh, this is not going for the queen. <laughs> bishop can come back. Can come back. Bishop can take. Yes, got more material on the board than us as well because we had to sacrifice. Well, I, we probably didn't have to, but. Uh, I'm going to sit the bishop in the middle. But their white square bishop is probably going to be looking to challenge it. Pushing and then attacking here. Position V tactics. Hit the bishop. Queen's looking to come and put some sort of check. But he's not going to leave his bishop there. Bait the pawn. With a check on the king. Bishops hitting the rook. Okay, they don't want to play a ball. Anything else? Two on one on the pawn. Pushes the pawn. Take the rook. Knight's attacking the queen. Yeah, they're into this um, small piece attacking the higher piece. It's also attacking our bishop. Bishop can take with a check on the king. So we'll take with the check on the king first. And then we should get a check on their king attacking the knight. Which potentially should win us the piece back. Yep, but do we need to rush to do that? Is there a checkmate anywhere? Not really. Let's take it up, take it off. Let's not get arty. So luckily it looks like we clawed it back. We're looking to try and attempt to not do that. To try and put a two on one on this um, pawn. Again. I think his queen's just coming to defend oh the rook we'll bring this rook here and if we slide this here maybe we can go for this but obviously the queen's going to defend poor rook I have to move the king Queen's looking to cause some trouble. I'm going to bring the queen here, like we said, see if we can touch the king. Is he coming for a greedy munch of a pawn? That would be nice. Tempo feels a bit slow for them to come into. Oh my, it is. Excellent. Nice one. Yeah, 800 caught me, <laughs> caught me by surprise. Um, yeah, well played on that one. Yeah, one sec. Yeah, the, the opening was just so simple, wasn't it? It's just like, oh yeah, the four knights. But yeah, you know, I have to realize, you know, that that's going on, that potential. I would ordinarily just be putting this here to stop that. Yeah, so don't fall asleep in your opening, stay alert. Because <laughs> the more more basic it is, the more problems you're probably going to have because you've not covered off what potentially can happen. So very well played, 800. Nice play. Okay, 1200. See how we get on. Get the night up. What's the strategy? Um, we don't really like them apples. It does weaken his king a little bit, but you have to be able to do something about it. So we're not going to get 
twisted in terms of oh he's opened up his king side pawn if there's an advantage to be taken we can go for it later on let's just push through the center I'm going to take the knight off the board bring the queen here just attacking the pawn the bishop's defending obviously but we are looking to queenside castle really get the knight up it's queenside castle so the thunder of the gods are going to come shooting down now towards our king I have to be very mindful this bishop could get here get the king so we may as well move the king off of that that potential diagonal they're moving quick so that means that they may have missed something let's go here it's got a two on one on this pawn i think the knight will take then we can take this pawn here and then there's a situation brewing for us which is good i believe a positive situation and they're kind of realizing it i think that's why they've stopped but the snowball effect has taken place <laughs> Queen or the pawn must take the pawn first before the bishop or the knight take the knight I think they'll greedy munch and the knight's going to take the knight because it's on the queen. But we're building something. Ah, you see, told you. <laughs> uh, so they spoil my party now. Spoil my party. But that's okay because we do have other things in sight. Let's just bring this bishop here. The sight is the rook being opposite the queen if the knight takes. Obviously the knight can go back again, so it's not a big celebration. Might have to pace it out a bit. Alright, so the knight can still go back in front, but we will attack the queen anyway. And then the bishop goes in and yeah, so... We're down by a pawn. Okay, let's have a look. And let's just bring the knight out developing. Take it nice and easy. So we hit this pawn. See if we can open the center. I think we'll take with the knight as we do. Let's bring the knight back, attacking the pawn. Let's get this bishop into the position here. We're never going to go for the fried liver, but it looks like we're putting some sort of threat towards the weak pawn that is next to the king. Okay, so kind of made them do a move they didn't really want to do because they're trying to stop the fried liver. We had no intentions of going for the fried liver. Nice weak space here, attacking the king. Let's develop a piece, supporting the pawn. All right, get this dark squared bishop out. No, no need to overthink the situation. Got the pieces out now. In this type of position i'm not really a fan of this pawn in this type of situation or this pawn the b and the c pawn so in my head i'm thinking we need to get some sort of activation going in terms of firstly protecting this pawn so it looks like we're going to be bringing the bishop back i do like the x-ray that it's got through to the king currently i'm just going to do a little waiting move Repositioning, it's protecting the bishop. They're moving quick now, so it feels like they've got things sewn up. This pawn, like we said, doesn't have any protection. We need to sort things out first. I'm going to bring this rook here. 
before we think about bringing the bishop back maybe so he doesn't like our bishop bishop's done nothing to him but that's my bad bishop anyway so we're trying to make it good by having this diagonal they can have that quite freely i'm going to bring the queen here got the diagonal attacking the pawn here looking for draw draw position if you like and they're not having any of that they're not wearing that at all bishop looks jammed in now not now that we're in this position don't it i'm going to bring the rook here opposite their queen and they're moving dead quick so it looks like they're wanting to double our pawns in this situation white square bishop can't help it see what the bishop wants to do does take as our king got company i think we need to be maneuvering so oh, what's the deal let's take to the inside and yeah, they're moving dead quick now so the pawn is supporting the pawn so we can now attack the knight i believe we'll take with the queen no we're not <laughs> let's take with the pawn and like i was saying did we give our king any company do we have to be concerned about that though let's just attack this pawn here and start looking towards giving our king a bit of company he's happy at the minute okay we'll take take and just move the king they're moving dead quick speed over position so we're looking at improving our position on the board there are checks on the king that we can put in place get their queen off the board we're minus one going to be minus two in a second because this bishop's going to be taking this pawn not actually taking the pawn so we can take the queen for free they may resign at this point oh okay they're still moving quick they've got a check on our king white dark square bishop obviously taking the pawn no, it's not interested in that. So we'll take this pawn attacking their rook. Super speed, super speed. Okay. So they do have two linked pawns. But we'll go with the checkmate on here. Lock the pawn support stop the fried liver attempt for a brief moment develop the night this is a five minute and oh, 20 second increment but they're still going for it okay so it means we've got more pieces on the board than the opponent so we need to create some sort of destruction towards their king area as soon as possible attacking this pawn it's got no protection now they've castled does that give us the white square bishop coming here baiting the pawn queen's move attacking the queen wants to get the big guns off the board <clears throat> is there anything before we go i think we'll take push this pawn support in itself in a sense okay and we can move the rook now back in unprotected pawn stealth bishops doing a good job stopping the rook from coming there briefly it looks like they're gonna have to push the pawn or does something support it no it's attacking the bishop but we can just attack the pawn twice It can take with the rook. It will have a rook and two minor pieces. I think we'll go here. It looks like we're going to lose the rook anyway because we have to move the bishop after we've taken this. So they will gladly take our rook off the board. Just trying to improve the position of our pieces. So we're going to attack the rook and bring the bishop here. Obviously, they're taking. Take with the bishop. 
moves their knight because it doesn't want to lose any more pieces. Yeah. Just keep the bishop just snuck away in this little corner here. Yeah, they're looking to trade down pieces, also making space for the rook to own the only open file. Let's bring the bishop up. Yeah, like we said, they want to trade. Could elevate the king up a little bit further. Are we blocking our bishop in any way? Take with the bishop. Take a moment to reflect on the situation. Can't hit their king with a check. So I think we'll take... I could even take with the pawn. Bring more pawns into the centre because this pawn's isolated. I think that's made my decision. And we can push just to see if we can disturb some stuff around their king. It's on a white square. White square bishop would come here. But it'll just push down because the knight's protecting. Not doing any of that because the rook's waiting to take the pawn. Maybe push this pawn. Towards the king area. Alright. Knight. Not getting in the game yet. Oops, excuse me. So let's push this pawn, see if they're going to take. I think they will take. Rather than push past, because they'll give us a pass pawn. Just trying to make space for my pieces to kind of swing around a bit. I know the rook can come and attack the pawn. And we can simply can take, or we can just move the knight. We have made space for the knight coming here. And if they take, we take. His knight moves, he's on the pawn. Hmm. Or we take, and the knight's here, he's on this pawn. And we move our bishop here. Okay, let's take. Keep it simple. And if he takes, the pawn comes into the centre, so let's just do that. Yeah, he does take. So it brings the pawn into the centre, linking with this pawn here. Well, hopefully. So it's going to be attacking the bishop. Yeah, that's always going to happen. Now we could go and just support our pawn with the bishop here. I think we'll do that. And see if we can get these pushed up a bit. So it's coming for the knights. So I'm actually going to push the pawn. Could have maybe pushed that pawn to block the knight, but uh, block the rook pawn, sorry. If we come round here, there's nothing that really can come and protect this pawn, is there? Because the rook is just going to come down and get it. So we could bring the knights down, supporting the pawn for a moment. Attack the pawn. Take the pawn, but then he takes our pawn. Just block this pawn from moving any further, shall we? Yep. Maybe start moving the knight up. Just come in here, because it looks like there's a sacrifice going to be taking place anytime soon with the rook. Oh, this pawn's not protected. Bishop can come here to defend. I don't think that needs overthinking, does it? Nope. Oh, do I get the rook? I get the rook. I get the rook, he can have the pawn. Can state uh, it's the higher piece. Let's take it. Don't know if it's going to block us. Sorry, it's going to block us by coming here, isn't it? Oh, they've resigned. Nice game, smooth game.
Okay, last one. Ivan two. So the answer to chess. Attack the key areas, the key pieces, areas around the pieces, areas around the king. Try to keep pressure on if you're allowed to. Even in, even in a defensive type position, trying to keep some type of pressure on to give them something to think about. I'm going to push through the center, see if we can open this up. I'm going to open it up. Get the knight out. I was thinking about attacking the bishop, but it's like looks a little bit early oh i think we're going to move this knight and try and get the bishop blocker here we know they like to just sit there forever and a day so again trying to give them things to think about knight could dance we can dance but let's do the bishop blocker because we know it holds us true on this Fianchetto situation. We can take the knight. Anything else? It's just waiting to do something, but I don't think we need to get too clever with anything. Let's just bring the bishop here, x ray through to the queen. If they forget themselves in the motor set, we can take the queen off the board. It looks like they're not going to do it. We can take, bishop takes, we've already got two, they've got two pieces protecting. But it looks like we're giving them something to think about, which is a good thing. Next thing, simply, probably, before I do any, do I lose out in any way, shape, knight takes, the knight, pawn takes, bishop takes, nope. I think we should be okay to castle. Okay, they're fed up with our bishop. Now lean on us again. From here. We'll get a two on one, but the knight's not going to be there. And we should take with the check first. So I'll take the bishop now that it's there. And we could hit. We don't have another piece supporting. We may as well just take this one off the board for the position going for the exchange do we really need to I mean I'm okay we're plus one but as we know that don't really mean much I'll come here because the knight's there we could castle queen side supporting the queen then we're kind of owning the file but we would lose this pawn ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't think we should lose a pawn. We could just disrupt the king. He's not castling. No more checks now, so let's just castle. We're moving a bit quick. Let's see if we can manage this file. We can't really own it because bishop and the knight are covering there looking like he's going for a draw we'll attack the bishop let him know we're in the game he has moved it let's move this for a bit of stealth attacking the rook a bit obvious obviously oh that would have been a nice check so we could go for this pawn takes knight comes here with a check knight takes bishop takes now we would have given a pawn up for not much really. His knight's on the back and they're happy with the knight being on the back? Don't think so. Let's just see if we can double basic chess. Hidden in the corner. The 
attack the rook. Hitting the pawn. No oh, time's running out. Did I select? Oh, five two. Two second increment. Up in my own bishop. for a higher piece. 